We're counting down to the big game. We will get into a behind the scenes look at one of the most anticipated commercials for something that Jesse, I don't think people would guess. Yeah, off the bat. It's, it's about avocados and, and why avocados, you ask yeah. yourself. Well, as we know, guacamole is one of the most popular Super Bowl snacks every yeah. year. And there's actually a group that monitors avocado consumption saying that a record 278 million avocados are going to be eaten this Super Bowl Sunday. So that's a good thing because they're going to be able to easily pay the millions of dollars they need for the ad and then some. With the next pick in the first draft ever, Australia selects the kangaroo. Yes. I like that pick. It was one of the most talked about ads run in last year's Super Bowl, but they weren't selling beer. They were selling, would you believe, avocados? And Mexico selects the avocado. Great pick. Well, they're back this year again. And Avocados from Mexico and their ad agency invited GMA behind the scenes for a sneak peek at one of the most anticipated ads of Super Bowl 50. This is essentially a futuristic museum of culture in America. If aliens were to catch culture today, this is what they would see and their misinterpretations of some of those things. And this is the white and gold dress that caused the Civil War. This is Scott Bayo. In this year's ad, Iconic TV star Scott Baio of Happy Days fame makes an appearance. I get a call from my agent saying that uh, avocados from Mexico want to do a commercial with me in it. And I said, well, uh, I eat them. So, okay, what's the spot? While Scott Baio may eat avocados. My wife tells me they're good fat, which I kind of like. At up to four and a half million dollars for an ad on the Super Bowl, well, that's a lot of avocados. Actually, if you took the number of avocados that will be sold in the week leading up to the Super Bowl and turned them into a giant bowl of guacamole, they'd reach 53 feet high, taller than the goalposts. But if you think there's pressure on the guys playing in the Super Bowl, try being an advertising executive. It's weird sitting there and like you watch the Super Bowl spot and then you just look down and you wait for 10 seconds to see what Twitter says. And then you're like, oh gosh, okay, we're good. Anybody want to feed Scott Bay? It's included in the price of admission. No, I have a chip. It's funny. <laughs> and Scott Baio tells us that he's actually not told any of his friends that he shot an ad for the Super Bowl. He actually figured it'd be more fun for them to watch the game and just be surprised to yeah. see him. But so yes, know. hopefully they're not watching GMA this morning. Otherwise, surprise. <laughs> but we've got another big exclusive for you. Here's your first look at the new Mini Cooper ad. There's a lot of big stars in it. Serena Williams and Abby Wambach, just to name a few. Very cool. I love the commercials. Well, if you watch the Super Bowl, you know every year. The game is always awesome. It's the commercials, though. And even you That's as a former watch. player, do, are you as into the commercials? As yeah, well, you know, I, you know, I go to the game every year and watch as a fan. And the, the only thing that's not great about being at the game, you don't get to see the commercials. Right. They don't play that's them true. on the Super We were there last year. Yeah. I did get to see one that, commercial. That, that kind of... That, that's yeah. not cool. Oh, well, they're Jesse, all coming. You're at the game. <laughs> first rule no, problem for oh. 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 We're going to console Jesse over missing the commercial. Must be tough.